Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> how are you? Good. What's your name? Zoe Ariana Queen. Zoe, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Zoe, how old are you? Six years old. Wow. Wow. You're brave. Do you watch the show at home? Please say yes. Yes. Okay. And who's your favorite judge? I like all the judges, but I like Sophia <gasps> the most. <Yeah! laughs> really? <laughs> Do you think you're going to win? Yes. <laughs> And what would you do with the money if you won? I would buy a big golden convertible and a big pink Barbie dream camper. Oh, yeah! I always wanted that camper! <laughs> Good luck. Good luck! <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> Sophia. Zoe, I am your favorite judge, and you're one of my favorite contestants ever. Heidi. I love your stage presence. I love how you flick your hair, how you talk to other people. You're pointing everywhere. Very well done. Good for Bravo. you. Howie, do you like Lady Gaga? Yes. Yeah, but you're like an adorable baby version of that. You're Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> You are fearless, literally fearless. So brave, so talented, great voice. Love the fact you remembered all the hand movements. Every single person in this room loved this audition. I do. <laughs> now we have to vote. Howie. Yes! Heidi. Yes! Sophia. Yes! It's a fourth yes from your favorite judge. Adorable. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. What's your name and how old are you? My name is Celine and I'm nine years old. The nine oh. years old. This is my dream being in America's Got Talent. Oh. So what are you going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be singing. Oh, wow. 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 Have you got any brothers or sisters? I got a little sister. And what's her name? Her name is Dion. Oh. Celine and Dion. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> really? 
So I'm guessing your parents love Celine Dion. Yes, of course. Right. So when did you realize that you had a great singing voice? When I was in the car, my dad's driving, and then suddenly I just sang My Heart Will Go On, and then he was like, wow. wow. Celine Dion sing? song? Yeah. We got that. We've worked that out, Mel. There's a Celine Dion connection. <laughs> I know, but I'm just... Yeah. So, what, so what kind of music do you like to listen to? I like... Uh, Celine like, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> And, and what is your big dream? When to be you the grow next up? Celine Dion. She's got it. <laughs> this is my dream. <laughs> this is your dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celine, can um, I ask you a question? Yeah. What artist are you going to be singing? Celine Dion. Duh. <laughs> well, Celine, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Sophie, tell me, how old are you? Five. And where do you come from? I live in Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. <laughs> Did you have to take an airplane to get here? Yeah. Oh my God, there was so much people. I know! <laughs> I know so many. Oh my God. So was this the first time you've been on an airplane to come and see us? Yeah, my favorite judge is Mr. Simon. Why? <laughs> You're just doing everything right right now. Mr. Simon, <laughs> I saw the dream about you. I saw that he pushed the golden button. <laughs> Chicky. Chicky. <laughs> well, you never know. It might happen. I wish you good luck. Thank you.
So, Sophie, should we go to your favorite judge first? Well, we weren't expecting that, Sophie. Sophie, you know what? I love that song. And normally people about 90 sing that song about what their life's been about, and you sing it at five. You are hilarious. I want you to date my son. <laughs> <laughs> he's just split up with his girlfriend, so I'm going to have to make an introduction. Uh, he's going to love you, but you are adorable, Sophie. Well done. Thank you. Mel, what did you think? You are just so cute. From Thank your, you. You're welcome. And you sung like an angel. Thank well done, you. you. Howie? Wow, you did it your way, didn't you? That was amazing. You are the most adorable, cutest, talented little thing I have seen on that stage. Thank you. Aww. Sophie, I think you should be very proud of yourself. We see so many people here, a lot of grown ups, and they're shaking. They are so nervous. And you just did it like that. Thank you. All right, guys, let's vote. Howie. Yes. Oh, I have to say yes to you. Thank you. Simon! You are happiness in a bottle, young lady. You got three yeses. So, Sophie, I'm going to give you a fourth yes. You're going to be in the next round. You did it! You did it! Breeze Carver. What a beautiful name. Thank you. How old are you? I just turned 13. And what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to be doing a dance. Ooh, how long you've been dancing? Since I was five, six years old. Why? How did you decide that you wanted to be a dancer? Well, when I was little, I was adopted. And I was really young, and I was really shy. And I would always hide behind my mom. <laughs> And then what happened? And then, um, my parents, now that I love so much. They're uh, here, can we see them? Yeah! Hello! Hi. <laughs> they thought for dancing, it would be really good for my confidence, and just to come out more confident, be stronger, so. And it was, right? And you I love, love it. it. <laughs> okay, we can't wait to see what you can do. Thank good luck you. tonight. Beautiful. It's so beautiful.
perfection. Thank you. You were meant to do this. You look like you were floating, that you were enjoying it. You look beautiful. I mean, I can see the future opening up for you. Thank you for coming Thank to AGT. You. I mean, we see a lot of dancers, and especially a lot of kid dancers, but you are really, really special. Thank you. I can yeah. feel everything when you dance. It's crazy. You dance with your face, with your emotions. Yeah. Like, I really had chills. It was absolutely beautiful. Thank well you. done. Howie? I think America is going to love you, and I think you're going to do great in this competition. Amazing. You know what, Breeze? You have a real kind of what, like a glow about you. You know, you're instantly likable. Thank you. Can I kick this off with your first yes, please? Thank you. I'm gonna be your second yes. Thank you. I'm gonna be your third yes. Four yeses. I mean, I almost could shed a tear when she was dancing. It was really like that emotional. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. She had everything, mm. the whole package. Yeah. To watch you out there, it looked like a breeze. No. <laughs> it was absolutely stunning. I just feel so proud right now. At AGT. I'm a dancer. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Just tell me, tell me a fun story about you dancing. Uh, when I was little, I see. Oh, yeah, it was a long time ago, no? Yeah. <laughs> I sit in baby car and I hear do 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 do. And I, I can't move my leg, I can't move my head. Do 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 do. <laughs> She's adorable. Why are you so adorable? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> are you nervous? Are you feeling nervous that you're here? I don't know. Do you watch us on TV sometimes? Yes. Who's your favorite uh, judge? Mm. Simon. Simon. Wow. <laughs> Are you ready to dance? Yeah! Okay, let's go! Oh, I love that!
where you need it to be. We're so happy you're here. Who are you with? Is your mom here? Mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy, they gotta be so proud. <laughs> She's amazing. And your, is that your teddy bear? It's uh, my dog. You can hold it. You wanna hold it while we're talking okay. to you? Go. What is his name? Linda. Linda, her name is a girl. Yes. <laughs> I think you are incredible. I love your dance. I love your tricks. What I love the most are your face expressions. Thank you. You're in there. You're giving 100%. Thank you. Thank you. Diamond. Simon says that if you win it, you keep it. <laughs> that if you win it, you will get in it. That if you win it, what is it then? Ah, uh, you're in, in it, it, you win, win it. it. She's in it to win it. He says that I think that we, we think you're gonna win tonight. That's what he said. We're gonna vote. I am gonna give you your first yes. Simon. Yes. Hello. Hi. Welcome to our stage. And what is your name? My name's Heavenly Joy Jerkins. That is a beautiful name. Your first name is Heavenly. My aunt calls me Hev. OK. Yeah. How old are you, Hev? I'm five. I love your outfit, by the way. Thank you. Uh, tell me about yourself. What are you going to be doing today? I'm going to be singing a song and do tap with it. That's hard to do because sometimes you can get out of breath, right, when you're singing? Yeah. Is that going to happen to you? No. No. Good. And, and where did you get this ability at five years old? Do you have a musical family? Since when I was one, I used to sing. Because you got to start at a young age in this business. You really do. <laughs> now, you know, if you win this whole thing, you get a million dollars. Well, if I get a million dollars, I don't want them to keep them. I want to get them all over the world because some people don't have any clothes, so I'll give some clothes to them. Aww. Beautiful. He's raising her right. <laughs> By the way, I'm your favorite judge, aren't I? Mm hmm Yes, okay. <laughs> Very smart. All right, I wish you a lot of luck. I hope you win so all those people who don't have money get money, you know? Places, oh, I'm telling wow. you. Wow. You know, when I was uh, a little boy, not much older than you, if you can imagine that, <laughs> Heavenly, I used to watch uh, Shirley Temple yeah. in movies on TV. I watched that. You watched that too? Yep. 
that you know, I think Shirley Temple is living somewhere inside of you. Is that possible? Because... Well, not Shirley Temple, Jesus. There you go. How you talk? I think America's gonna fall in love with you, Heavenly. I bet you dollars to donuts that they are already <laughs> in love with her. You are heavenly. You really are. You remind me of our own Mel B, because you would have been a terrific Spice Girl, I think. I don't know what that is. You never heard of them, right? No, because I wasn't born yet. Right. Uh... It doesn't know who you are. That's okay. We know who she is. She's adorable. Well, you know, Heavenly, I'll be proud to tell you that you have your first yes. Heavenly, I'm going to give you your second yes. Great job. I will give you your third. That's it. We'll see you in the next round. Good job, Heavenly. What a cute. So you went out there, you sang, and then everyone stood up and clapped. Did you expect that? Yeah. You did. <laughs> Hi, young lady. What is your name? Grace. Grace, you're a beautiful young lady, you know that? Thank you, I guess. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 12. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> what are you gonna sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and other people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> the stage is yours. Good luck. about surprises and you use the word miracle and I think you are a living beautiful walking miracle your original the people not knowing your name is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now. Thank you. 
what I predict for you? I think you are the next little Taylor Swift. Thank you so much. Wow. Howie's golden buzzer. How's it feel? I feel like this, I'm kind of just daydreaming I'm getting ready to wake up. Well, this is going to be a long dream because you're going straight through to the live show. You'll see it. Great girl. Wow. Thank you. What a great personality. I can't believe it. You do have confetti in your hair. I do. You hear, you hear Simon Cow make a prediction that you're the next Taylor Swift? <laughs> Can I get your autograph? <laughs> so you think you've got a star now? I 100% think we've got a star. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, wow. I really do. That is a big this, wow. this girl is special. She is yeah. special. Wow. And I'm now annoyed I didn't press the golden button. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's the name of the group? G Force! Where are G Force from? We're from Toronto. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I need your names and ages, starting with you, please. I'm Sienna, and I'm 12 years old. Okay. I'm Michaela, and I'm 12 years old. I'm Ava, and I'm 11 years old. I'm Sarah, and I'm 12 years old. I'm Holly, and I'm 10. I'm Howie, and I'm 63. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the diva? We don't really have one. Yeah, yeah. right. They all are divas. Trust me, every group or panel has a diva. <laughs> what are you going to sing? We're gonna sing an original song. What's the song about? It's about going to the top together and not letting anyone push you down. Wow. I love these girls. I'm not gonna argue with you five, uh, so just kill it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> Be as big as Kanye, but we don't need them easy. Break the internet, we go viral. Do we just cause we just girls? We're not teens yet, but we still gonna break the bank. Don't hate cause we just girls. Don't hate cause it's our own. Don't hate now, don't, don't hate. Just break the bank. And you gotta listen. Break the internet, we go viral. Do we just cause we just girls? We're not teens yet, but we still gonna break. Divas, and I love it. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. I think the message that you're giving to young girls, young boys out there, is that you're never too young to dream big. Exactly. Yes. Gabrielle, what do you think? I've got an 11 year old in our house, and I have a very strong suspicion that we will be hearing this songs in the carpool lane <laughs> on, repeat. Uh, on repeat. You guys are absolutely like rock stars. I can definitely hear this song on Radio Disney already. Howie, you? you're so emotional. What are you thinking? I don't know. It's like so speechless when like you have a whole crowd cheering for you and it just feels so speechless. <laughs> So have you not worked in front of an audience like this before? No, it's usually just our parents and ten other girls. <laughs> well, you know, you entertain us. You made me feel like a little girl again. <laughs> Thank you. The only thing I would say is this is all about being authentic. You know, you're very cute, very ambitious. The audience like you. The group your age should be having fun and telling us we should be learning from you, not the other way around. Thank you. I think there's more to come. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna vote. Howie? Yes! 
Gabrielle. Oh, yes. Thank you. Cool. Brilliant. Are you kidding me? Yes! <laughs> You've got four yeses. Who are you and where like are you from? Angel. My name is Pranayska Mishra and I'm nine years old and I'm from Tampa, Florida. From Tampa, Florida, welcome! How does it feel to be nine years old on the biggest stage in the world? Scared and of course like really excited. Yeah? Yeah. Who did you bring with you from Florida? Um, I came with my mom, my dad and my little sister. <laughs> and who is going to be the first person that you're going to call if this goes well for you today? Um, definitely, I will call my grandma because Aww. I'm. she always um, wanted me to be in this big stage, and now, finally, I'm here. Oh my gosh! Stage is yours! Here we go. what Howie, Simon, or Sophia has to say. What? Really? I want you to call your grandmother and say that Heidi Klum pushed a golden buzzer for you. You deserve it. You are absolutely incredible. Congratulations for tonight's Kamishwa. <laughs> I mean, like she actually is yeah. really, yeah. really good. Good evening. Hello. Uh, what is your name? Annie. Annie, Annie, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. Aw, are you nervous that you're here? A little bit, yeah. 
I love how you look. I love your outfit. Thank you. Are you Australian? Yes, I am. That's a long journey. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring your family with you? Yes. Hmm. Down there. Hello. <gasps> Well, we're very excited that you're here. What are you going to do today? I'm going to be singing. So how long you've been doing this? Since I was about seven years old. Okay, so let's see what you can do. Go ahead. Thank you. Go on, Annie. Come on, baby girl. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> it's so cute. This is what you're meant to do in your life. Howdy, what do you think? <laughs> Howdy to you. His name is now Howdy. Yes. Howdy. <laughs> Combination. That's Dance Monkey, right? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. Y you're a beautiful little dance monkey. You are amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you that, the, well, you are. It's just so stunning watching you, listening to you. You're a great performer. You sound great. You're a star. And the world now knows you. Thank you. Simon. I can tell how much you love that song. And I like your little twist on it. This is what, a 14, 15 hour journey from where you came from? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. But while you're up there, your confidence was actually quite amazing. Amazing. Thank you. That was a great audition, well done. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to vote. Um, I'm gonna give you the first yes. Thank you. Howdy. I wanted to also give you your first yes, but that's taken, so take the, this will be your second. <laughs> Thank you. Simon. Which means it leaves me to give you your third yes. yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, and what's your name, please? Victory. 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 Oh. That's nice. Uh, how old are you, Victory? I'm nine. Okay. Aww. And tell us a bit about you. 
I live in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And? And what? <laughs> <laughs> and what? Okay. And, and tell me what you're going to do today. Are you going to... You're going to sing? Yes. Okay. Are you excited? Uh, I'm ex nervous. You're nervous. And excited. Excited ex -nervous. and nervous. You said ex nervous. Ex nervous. Ex nervous. Ex -nervous. Ex -nervous. Ex I love nervous. that. Well, that's good. And who are you here with today? My mom. Aww. Yeah. Um, and what would you do if you won the million dollars? Buy Simon a rainbow shirt that has glitter on it. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Do you think I need a rainbow shirt? You need some color. Because I only wear, like, normally one color. Yes, light, gray, and black. You got it. <laughs> well, look, let's hope this goes great for you. Thank you. I was not expecting that, and you're angelic, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved it too. You have a beautiful voice. It was incredible. You are incredible. Thank you. I agree. You are a star. I think you have a powerful voice. That was amazing. I really loved it. Thank you. Simon, what did you think? I think, you know, auditioning and turning up sometimes is really, really important for your career. And I think you've been incredibly brave to come here, I have to say. Can I, I just want to talk to Terry for one moment. Terry, let me ask you a question. Yes, yes. Can I have a word, yes, yes. do you mind, sorry. Come with me. Huh? What is wrong? I don't know. What happened? How would you feel if we were to do something 
Victory, as I said, you know, turning up, you know, in terms of your career is really important. However, um, we're not going to give you a yes today. We're going to do something else we've never, ever, ever done on the show before. We are all going to give you something special. Five, four, three, two, one. Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Who talks? <laughs> Is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> oh, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're going to sing? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so. I'm guessing is exactly like you very charming and adorable You make my heart melt you were brilliant. I'm trying to describe how amazing it was You know what? And 
Excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. And what's your name? Ansley Burns. And where are you from, Ansley? Ansley, South Carolina. Oh. You've got a great accent, by the Thank way. Thank you. Ansley. Okay, Ansley, are you like a comedian or a dancer? Well, I'm a singer. Are you a singer? Yeah. What are you going to sing? Thank by Aretha Franklin. Oh. You're going to do Aretha Franklin? Uh-huh. At 12? Yeah. Okay. You sure? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. The stage is yours. Ansley, Ansley, sorry, babe. I don't think this backing track was working for you. I mean, it was a horrible, horrible backing track. Uh, so I don't think we can judge you properly on this. I really don't. We really like you, but that was terrible. If you're going to sing Aretha, you've got to have a great track. I'm just wondering whether we should just do a verse and a chorus, maybe a cappella. Um. Do you want some water? Uh, yeah. Hang on. Come here, come here. Ansley. I haven't had any of this. <laughs> this will help. Oh, my God! It's, it's yeah. like magic water, it's yours. Okay, let's do it. Come on, you could do this, Ansley. <laughs> you got this, girl. Gabrielle, what do you think? I think your level of professionalism at 12? I mean, I've worked with people three, four, five times your age who don't have the talent that you have in your little finger. You are really something special. Thank you. You've just proved the point. Personality to me is as important as technical ability. You know, it's the person I always remember. 
and you, my God, 12 years old is how we said it, coming on that stage. I know how scary it is. We're going to remember you. You have a great voice. Thank you. OK, now the most important part. Howie? Yes. Gabrielle? Oh, yes. Two yeses. Juliet? It's a yes from me. I've got to try and do the accent. Ansley, Ansley, Ansley. Ansley Burns, you got yourself four yeses. This is my song. Take the Hi, hi. What's your name and how old are you? My name's Sophie Darcy and I'm 14 years old. You're 14 years old, so you're still in school? Yeah. Um, what is it you're going to be doing for us today? I'll be doing hand balance and contortion. Wow. And when did you discover you wanted to do it or could even do it? I found this out by watching a video of contortion and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to try this. And after I tried it, I just fell in love with it. Oh, wow. And is your family supportive? Uh, my parents are very supportive. In fact, uh, my dad made me these canes and that thing that's holding the apple is a toilet paper holder. It is. <laughs> okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Heidi and how are you stood up? I love this entire act. I love how you bend over and you're eating the apple. It kind of made it cute, but so weird at the same time. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, this was incredible, amazing, wow. Thank you. You are amazing, you are exciting. Is there something different about you? Are you boneless? <laughs> No, is it, are you double jointed? How do you do that? Um, well, my back's always been flexible. Like when I was really little, I'd run around the house and back bends like for fun. Wow. So. It was wonderful. Thank you. What planet are you from? <laughs> I mean, you really put on a great act. Thank you. Is that your dad? 
Well done, Deb. You got a shout out from Simon. That's pretty cool. You've got such good stage presence. It's like you've been doing this forever. And you said you're only 14. You're like a seasoned pro already. Everything was perfection. Thank well done. you. So let's vote. Are we? Yes. Heidi. Definitely yes. Thank you. Simon. Go back to your planet with a third yes. And I'm going to give you your fourth yes. You were brilliant. Amazing! Wow. That was wow. Hi. What are your names? I'm Izzy. I'm Easton. And where do you live? In Wait. Las Vegas. And what are you guys gonna do here for us? We're gonna dance. <gasps> are you guys related, brother, sister? No. Oh, so how long have you guys been dancing together? Like, for about like five years. Yeah. So what type of dance do you do? Contemporary. I love that they keep yeah. looking at each other. It's so cute. Good luck. Let's see what you got. Does anybody like contemporary dance out yes. of interest? Like who? Me. Anyone else? L everyone. Who? The world. Soldier, keep on marching on. Head down to the work is done. My name is Bryn Cummings and I'm a ventriloquist. Aww. How old are you? Um, I'm 12. Where are you from? Uh, we're from Pawpaw, Michigan. How did you get into doing this? How did you know you could do this? Um, well, it was actually, I remember seeing Darcy Lynn on AGT and that um, inspired me. I literally looked at my parents as soon as I saw it and I went, that's what I'm gonna do. Aww. So. <laughs> And look at you now, right here in front of us. That's amazing. What are you gonna do if you win one million dollars? I mean, it's a big thing, but probably I'd like to follow in Darcy's footsteps and uh, start touring, uh, so get like a tour bus. And I also really want a bearded dragon. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we're ready, go ahead. All right, Penelope, it's our big moment. Are you ready for me to cue the music? I don't want to sing anymore. What? This is what we've practiced for weeks. I've been thinking about it, and it's been done. They want to see something else, something new. <laughs> but we haven't practiced anything else. What's your plan? I've got it! Mentalism! Mentalism? Wait, what? I don't mind, Reed. Quit playing around. Let's just sing the song. Trust me. Taking down to the judges. 
Is that allowed? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Good. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, stop worrying. Seriously, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's okay, we'll use a deck of cards. Check your pocket. Wait, what? Ta-da! <laughs> Heidi, yes. I'd like you to cut the deck one time. Howie, I'd like you to take the top card. All right. Then look away and close your eyes. Show me the card. I will send my thoughts to Drin using my brilliant mental powers. What do I do now? Just concentrate. What comes to mind? A migraine. Drin! <laughs> okay, I'm focused. I see. I think it's black. That's it. Keep thinking. It's a club. Is it the seven of clubs? Open your eyes. Oh my oh, gosh! That's... What? That's amazing. That's crazy. Judges, in a moment, we're going to go back on stage. But as we do, Sophia. Hi. Please take out any item from your purse, but keep it hidden for now. Okay. Simon, please turn out into the audience and grab an object. Any object from anyone. Yep, in the audience. And judges, don't let us see what you picked. Do not let us see what you picked. Let's make this a little more interesting. Terry, can you bring out the blindfold? Blindfold? <laughs> Terry, inspect the blindfold. Hold it up to the light. Can you see through it? No, I can't. Perfect. Please put it on the ring. Okay. Make it, make it nice and tight. Nice and tight. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Terry. You can go. You can leave now. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're gonna figure out what objects the judges are holding. Sophia, hold your object up into the air. Then clear your mind. <laughs> so Dren, what do you see? I see it's a food. Um, it might be, it has some sugar in it. Um, it might be like a good treat. Maybe you leave it when Santa comes. Is it a cookie? Sophia, what was your object? It's an oatmeal cookie! Oh my gosh! Since you're doing so well, you're gonna try this one solo. Penelope, come on, I need your help. Fine, here's a clue. Simon's object can fit inside of this room. Penelope, <laughs> come on. Wait, wait, I'm getting something. It's, it's an accessory. Um, you might wear it on your ankle. No, you wear it on your wrist. Uh, is it an Apple Watch? Uh, yes. Wow. Oh my gosh! Wow! Thank you, everyone! Uh, that's amazing. It's so great to see you right up close, how good you're doing it. I loved it. Thank you so much. This is the season of mashups. The fact that you did magic or mentalism and ventriloquism at the same time, you're amazing, young Thank lady. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. I loved it too, because you really figured out like a perfect little act for yourself. You're part comedian too. <laughs> I thought it was a lot of fun. Well done. Thank you so much. When did you realize that you have magic powers? Um, when I was about nine years old, I would say. Ah. That's cool. You are so talented, so charming. People are gonna root for you. You did something we've never seen before. And for me, you never want to see the same thing again, but not quite as good. You want to see it better or different, and that's what you did. Thank you. OK, we're going to vote. Sophia. I'm going to give you your first yes. Second yes. Second yes. Four yeses! You did it. You did it. Oh, 
my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. Gwen, tell me what you're feeling right now. This is the best moment of my life. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find some singers in the audience. You, come here, stand up. How you doing? What are you gonna sing for us? I don't care, just do it. Are you ready for me? You ready for me? Here we go. You better sing, Tommy. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound wow. that wow. saved wow. a Madison, how old are you? What? <laughs> Why don't you go and sit up on the face? Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that? People always ask what happens in the commercial breaks. Yeah. yeah. And amazing things happen in the commercial breaks, don't they? You sounded so good. We do ask people in the breaks if they'd like to sing a song. And I was literally just coming back in and I heard this voice thinking, who the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> we all were. And then I see this little thing in the audience, and it's you. <laughs> How old are you? 11 years old. That's amazing. That's and amazing. your name is? Madison Taylor Baez. And where are you from? Yorba Linda, California. Is this the first time you've been at a taping? No, I've been to many tapings, and ever since I was four years old, I would always try and sing for the commercial breaks, and it's always been my dream to be on the show. And I'm finally here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of freaking out right now. Aw, that's so cute! Oh, look at her, yes! Um, well look. Why not have you audition? Yes! Yes! Wow. Why not? Madison, I mean, you don't need a track or anything. Why don't you just do what you just did? Is sure, that okay? Yeah. Do you want some water or anything? I'm okay. You I'm sure? Okay. She's ready. Look at her. She's yeah. ready. Just do it. Yeah! 
Okay, I'm not kidding. In all the years we've ever done this, this has never actually happened before. I mean, I normally leave during the break because people do sing. So, <laughs> so this is actually the opposite. It actually brought me back into the room. Everybody's going to know your name now, young lady. Your life has just changed. We should just vote. What are we doing? We're vote? voting? Well, yeah, I mean, look, I think I know which way this is going to go. We're just going to vote. Yeah, and we're going to vote. Go on with it. Yeah. Howie. How are we going to do something? From the audience seats right to the live show. My dad's right there. Get up, come here. All right! This is just the start for you. I agree. I mean, that was magic. And good for you. You're gutsy. And you've got a great, great, great voice. Thank you. And now you're standing there with your wonderful dad, and you are a little star. What's your name? My name is Angelica Hale. And where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? I'm nine years old. And I just found out that I'm going to be a big sister. Wow! Mama! Who do you want to be like? I want to be the next Whitney Houston. Wow! I like to be a superstar. Wow. wow. And I'm so happy to be here because, like, I've been watching your show on YouTube, and now I feel like, like, I'm in it, and I'm, like, so, like, awestruck. And not only are you in it, you're in it to... To win it! Yeah! Go ahead, Angelica. Okay. Win it for you. yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Whitney Houston. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find the fighter. Wow. But I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out and move. Oh my 
my God. Wow. OMG. It's <laughs> so beautiful. Simon, talk to her. Well, this shouldn't actually happen. <laughs> you're tiny. Your voice is huge. <laughs> I have a feeling we may be looking at a star in the future. Thank you. Heidi. Wow. I had goosebumps everywhere. You're a clever little girl, and you said you want to be a superstar. I think that might happen for you. Let me tell you. Thank you. Mel B. You are so special, and your voice is so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this with us today. By the way, Mel B, you're my favorite judge. Yes. Go and give me a hug. You are so good. It's all going so well. <laughs> you are so good. Thank you. You yeah, did an amazing job. Angelica, you said you've been watching this on YouTube and you felt like now you're in it. I believe that not only are you in it, I predict that all your dreams are going to come true, young lady. <laughs> Mel, vote. Oh, yes, a million times over. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Ivy. Of course it's a yes. A yes. big fat yes. Simon, who did you say your favorite judge was? Me. <laughs> Look, I mean... <laughs> Angelica, you are absolutely brilliant. Love you. I'm, I'm honored that I'm your favorite judge as well. You've got three yeses. <laughs> so you've got three yeses. I'm going to give you your fourth. You have four yeses. smaller maybe the stage is higher but so you, it looks like you shrunk but you haven't <laughs> now introduce yourself please I'm Izzy Simpson I was on Britain's Got Talent in 2017 and I was the runner-up oh. yeah. and how old were you then Izzy I was eight then eight. but now I'm ten wow Izzy is a champion in my eyes I can't wait to see what you're gonna do tonight yes good luck Tonight I'm going to show you something with my two favourite things, magic and reading, using my three favourite books. My first favourite book is Colin Davis, Mathematical. Mel B, please can you look through the book and check if each page is different? Yes, it is. My second favourite book is Enid Blyton, The Magical Faraway Tree. Heidi, yes. please can you look through the book and check if each page is different? Will do. My third favourite book is How to Make a Million. <laughs> <laughs> please can you look through the book and check if each page is different? It's also my favourite book. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the first book you ever read, Simon. <laughs> Please, can you pick up my box and put it on the floor for me, please? On the floor? Yes, just behind you. Behind me? Yeah. Um, I, it's... Mel B, do you want to go and help him? It's yeah. very heavy. Girl power. I can't lift yeah. it. <laughs> no, it was... You what is going it. on? How is that possible? Stop! Oh, OK. Please, can you both sit back down for me, please? All right. She's a little bossy. Oh, 
show off. <laughs> How's that even possible? Howie, I'm going to show you a card trick, but it's a card trick like no other. As you can see, all the cards are different. Yes. I'm going to turn them face down, and I'd like you to touch the back of any card. There. Are you sure? I am. I'd like you to look at your card, remember it, and don't show anyone else. Don't show anybody else. Anyone. OK. Got it. Now, Howie, there are three books. Please choose one book. I, I want to make a million. <laughs> How to Make a Million has around 674 pages. Please, can you choose a number between 1 and 674? 126. Simon, please, can you turn the book to page 126 for me, please? Now choose one word and in a loud voice tell everybody what it is. Excellent. Excellent. See this blackboard? Before the show, I wrote a word on it. Watch. Yeah. For the first time, Howie, what was the card you chose? It is the Three of Diamonds. Watch. Oh! Amazing! I'm Anita Simpson. Thank you. Good night. Do you have any pets? Yes. Yeah. What do you have? I have three horses. Eight chickens, wow. a baby lamb, and two dogs. Wow. <laughs> do you live in an apartment? <laughs> no. <laughs> what would you do with the million dollars if you won the entire series of America's Got Talent? Um, I'd donate it to hospitals and animal shelters. Aww. Wow. You could be the nicest contestant we've ever had, Lily. <laughs> You're adorable. Good luck. Giggles. Dolphin. <laughs> Turkey. Fantastic, Lily. Thank you. Howie, what did you think? You ever do it at the back of the class? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and there's a teacher who go, who brought a goat? Does that ever happen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I love you. Thank you. You are such a sweet girl and so likable. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Heidi. I thought it was a lot of fun. My favorite probably was the horse. Thank you, great. Amazing. Lily, I think America is going to absolutely fall in love with you. I do. Yeah. You're so much fun. 
And look, this show, it's all about fun. It's all about originality. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is going to win, so we're going to have to step up the act a little bit, Lily. Okay. Um, but I, I'm really happy that you auditioned. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. Okay, thank you. Ready? I give you a yes as well. Thank you. Well, I'm giving you your third yes. Thank you. How are you? I am giving you your fourth yes. Thank you. So sweet. That was amazing. You're gonna go celebrate with mama? Yeah. We're gonna order a pizza and jump Ooh. on hotel beds. That's Ooh. what our night is. I did that with my mama before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hi dad. I just got four yeses. Hi. So happy. Now Mel, how was it being back with the three other judges? Oh, I've just had the best time. Oh, well, oh I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, asked to. <laughs> Howie, I love Howie, I love you. Simon, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> no, I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. You We've loved having you here. <laughs> See? I hate to admit it, but we Really? Have. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because, you know, Simon, Mel B used to throw water all used over to. you on I AGT. Do. Do I, I still do. How's do I... it been having her sitting next to you again? Do I get the chance to do it on... No, you can't. As soon as I get back out of here, there we go. I gotta pee, all right? I don't know how to transition. I'm just letting you know I gotta pee, I gotta pee. You ever have to pee like real bad, like, you know, real bad, you at a public restroom, right? Right? And instead of it saying like men and women, they try to be creative, it's like a boat and a fish. You're like, which one? <laughs> Everyone's walking to the wrong restroom. Every woman in here has walked in and been like, when they put urinals inside the restroom? <laughs> and every dude has walked in like, is that a couch? They got a couch? Is that a vending machine? What kind of candy is that? That's some weird candy. <laughs> they got lotion? Why they got lotion inside the restroom? <laughs> Can't have a lotion in the men's restroom. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah. You know, because <laughs> we're not going to use it. It's a waste of lotion. What are y'all laughing at? What were y'all laughing at? Beautiful. What I feel the same way. I always lyric. want more Parmesan. Thank I was you. right there. I know, I know. Why are they so stingy on the Parmesan? Parmesan. It's disgusting. What? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm even having this conversation anyway, because I don't like Parmesan. I don't like your song. So I'm saying. I gotta say, I didn't, I didn't love it. Sophia, it's a no. I don't know what was happening. Wow. Oh my God. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Yeah. No. I always pick the best assistants. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm not so sure about <sighs> that. I should have picked Heidi. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. You're great. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, Anna. <laughs> Holly, what did you think? Listen, you took a risk tonight. You took a big risk. She did a smaller, you know, uh, illusion. And that was what was amazing. Thank you. Heidi, what did you think? I don't know if I loved it this much today. I have to be honest with you. It was a lot of talking. And also some of the talking you said, I, I also didn't love so much. You know what you said to Mel, that kind of hurt me a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. And I, I really, really like you, and that did not make me like you so much. I thought we were both, like, joking I, with I each other. I think, to be fair, I, 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 I think yeah. Anna was kidding, kidding around. However, it, I don't think you had the best assistant in the world with you. Um, you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. 
The first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. <laughs> right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. <laughs> this is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but it's... That, that's silly, because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Molly Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not going to clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> Do you live in Rebecca? Where some 17 year old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened. Right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird. All right. Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> to remember what you came into this with. Can, can I ask you a question? Of course. So this was your decision? Yes. It wasn't completely. your mum or your dad's? No, it was my decision. And are you happy with what you did? I am, yes. Then I think that's all that matters. Simon. A couple of weeks ago, Darcy did less of the ventriloquism and more singing. And we said, we think that's a big mistake. And so you completely disregarded our advice, <laughs> threw away the puppets, and decided to come out and do it yourself. But you know what? I've always believed the most successful people in life are people who make their own decisions and don't listen to other people. Good for you for sticking with your guns. Thank you, Simon. I'm not from California, but I look like I am. <laughs> Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, God. I also don't know what my favorite seat on the plane is. That's the difficult one for me, because there's three seats. You've got the window, the middle, and the aisle. The aisle seat, I don't like. 
Because when I fall asleep, my big head falls out the side. <laughs> Cabin crew with their trolley, they don't like me. It's like a target. They're like, psh, there you go. <laughs> the middle seat, I feel like a piece of meat in a sandwich. <laughs> you, ever, you ever fought someone for the armrests and they're stronger than you? You're just like, mm. <laughs> this old lady's strong, yeah, okay. Hey, have it, Mildred, have it. Probably your last flight anyways, have it. <laughs> it's the window seat. The window seat is probably the best seat. You sit next to two types of people. You've got the people that'll get up <laughs> and let you out, and you've got the other people, the leg turners. <laughs> I'm a leg turner. I'm not getting out of my seat. I'll take the abuse as you go past. It's a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with 100 kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll. And my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> People always ask why I need a service dog. I don't. You got me, I'm faking it. He has two primary services. First, he gets my beer for me. I love you. Good boy. Now number two, fetch me a girlfriend. <laughs> You're ruining my set, you jerk. Go fetch Sophia Viagra. I'm here. I'm single. Oh no, damn autocorrect. I meant Sophia Vergara. Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what. Did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think Magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! say this from, from my heart here, uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. 
am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. me growing up, he used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world, went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father. But I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. Sometimes I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Howie, last night you were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And also, I'm, I'm translating. She said, grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it's, there's okay. nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. Yellowstone, the park looks amazing. So imagine my excitement when my buddy Eric invited me to his wedding. Where? In Yellowstone. Are you coming? Oh, I'm there. I've been watching the show. <laughs> The second I landed, guys, I got it. This place was so beautiful, so majestic. I understood Kevin Costner. Shoot, I became Kevin Costner. <laughs> By the third day, I was telling people to get off my land. Get off my land! <laughs> sure, it was in the hotel courtyard, but that's the way that I felt. I couldn't stop saying, go on, get. You go on, get! You go on get from that cucumber water, sir. You've had enough of our minerals. <laughs> Thank you. I drove out into the park. I'm a city guy, man, and I was out there in nature, unsupervised. I saw elks, the real ones with the, with the coat racks. I saw elks. I saw bears doing bear stuff. They waved at me. Man. One got a little bit too close. I said, you go on get, Yogi. I told him. <laughs> I do jokes, I do impressions, I got it. I could do jokes, I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. <laughs> do it. All right. I will do an impression.
Kardashian? Yeah. And then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap. It's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. <clears throat> Come on! Listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. 